The impact of climate change is an increasingly pressing global issue and a new generation of startups in Kenya is developing new technologies to combat global warming. As Raul Ombuo reports from Nairobi, the technologies offer both environmental and financial sustainability. Fabri Nasiachi and Musela Yose came up with a clean cooking solution three years ago. It's a four-in-one cook stove they named Jikotosha. The stove uses briquettes, liquefied petroleum gas, biogas, and sawdust as energy sources. This allows people in urban or rural areas who cannot afford certain types of fuel to have a variety of options. Jikotosha, um, being multipurpose, it is one fuel at a time. You cannot use both fuel at once. You use, if you are using gas or LPG or biogas, once your gas runs out, you have to uh, switch off the gas, then switch to another fuel, either uh, the briquettes, charcoal briquettes. And you can use briquettes from uh, any briquettes process from waste materials so that uh, we don't lead to a case of deforestation that affects our environment. Uh, even coconut husks can work. Many Kenyans suffer from breathing indoor pollution caused by burning wood fuel. But the four-in-one stove has helped people like Alice Adongo, who has been using Jikotosha for the past three years. I'm being affected with uh, I think the carbon from Jiko. There was a time I fainted actually in the house since um, actually it was my fault because they locked all the windows. And yeah, I had to be rushed to the hospital. Since 2012, the Kenya Climate Innovation Center in Nairobi has supported 200 startups whose goal is climate change adaptation or mitigation. The center helps these startups by providing advice, training and monetary support. I feel that there is a need for us to be able to look at issues that we Africans or Kenyans can be able to do that can be able to help us sort out the issues of climate change just in our own small way. The more we do it in our small way, the more we can be able to give big benefits at, in, in the long term. These groups play an important role and should receive more money from governments, mm -hmm. says John Recher of the Global Research Partnership Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security. The climate change challenge in Africa and the world is enormous. It should not be ignored. The governments of the world are supposed to dedicate more resources towards dealing with this problem of climate change. Specifically, making investments that can be capable of reducing the greenhouse gas emissions from continually going to the atmosphere. Febri Nasiachi says with Jiko Tosha, they hope to tackle climate change one stove at a time. Rai Lombor for VOA News, Nairobi.